on up on YouTube. I got a couple guys over here recording it as well. But I have every right to protest. First Amendment, baby. And you got to stand up for the First Amendment because if they take the First Amendment away, then they take the Second Amendment away. They're already trying to take the Second Amendment away. Freedom of press, baby. Freedom of press. Nobody is, do not use the self-checkout, guys. Do not use the self-checkout. They will accuse you of stealing in this store. And send the cops over to your house with a trespass warning. They didn't accuse him of theft. They didn't charge him with theft. But they said they believe he was stealing from the store by not scanning everything. Which was uncalled for and untrue. And I dare that manager to come out and face me. Because nobody accuses my family of stealing. Ever! And as long as I don't use foul language, as long as I stand on this sidewalk and don't cross their property line, I have every right to be here. Do not use the self-checkout in this store. They will accuse you of stealing. Yes, they will. They will accuse you of stealing. And whoever told me to shut up, mind your business. I have every right to protest peacefully. On a public sidewalk, and there's not a damn thing they can do about it. Nobody accuses my family of stealing. Nobody. That trespass order was uncalled for. Was unconstitutionally called for. So I'm standing up for the right to protest. And while I'm here, I'll tell you one other business you don't want to do business with. That's a self-storage place at the end of Kimball Avenue. Don't do business with the storage place at the end of Kimball Avenue. They're also crooked. So boycott the storage place on Kimball Avenue in Mexico and boycott Hannaford. Because they had no right to tell me that my family member was stealing in a store when he wasn't. Nobody accuses me and my family of stealing. Ever. So do not use the self-checkout. They will accuse you of stealing in this store. And issue you a trespass notice. I was enjoying my Labor Day weekend, sitting at home watching a movie, and then a scumbag, balloonbag, rumpet prick comes to my door, and here's my other half, a trespass notice from this store. So you're damn right I'm angry. You're damn right I'm mad. See, I almost swore there, and I got to keep it clean, because if you keep it, if you don't keep it clean, then they can say you're being disorderly. You got to keep it clean when you're protesting, especially in front of children. So I would do everything in my power to keep it clean. But don't use the self-checkout. They'll accuse you of stealing. That's right. The manager's a moron. The chief of security in the store is a moron. And Barbara, if you're in there, you, you sucked as a selectman in Mexico. You suck as a, as a manager of Hannaford. I take that back. She was a selectman, not the manager. She sucked as a selectman in Mexico. She sucks as a manager here. 
And I have every right to protest and stop because what they did was wrong. Nobody accuses my family of stealing. Do not use the self-checkout. They'll accuse you of stealing. That's right. They will accuse you of stealing in the store if you use the self-checkout. And then when I called the manager and confronted him about it, he wanted to be a moron on the phone. So I told him I was going to come down here, and he didn't believe me. So now I'm down here, and where is he? Hiding in the front, hiding in the store. That's where the manager is, hiding in the store. Because he can't come out and face me like a man. Because he knows that trespass warning was uncalled for, unconstitutional. And then you got an officer in this town by the name of Bradley Gallant, who's a scumbag. Never liked Bradley Gallant. He's always been a scumbag in Rumford. So if you know Bradley the Gallant, you can pass him that message. I said he's a scumbag. You know here, right? I have every right to protest. I don't give a damn about your kids. Mind your business! I would love to if you weren't going to call me if you wanted to help me. You don't like it? Call the cops. I haven't been swearing. Yes, you have. Mind your business. You're, you're a scumbag. You're a bootlegger. You're a blue spag. I have every right to protest. You don't like it? Call the cops. And I tell them, as long as I'm on the public sidewalk, I have every right to do so. No, I'm standing on a sidewalk. And we got the B-I-T-C-H in the, in the house yelling at me. No, I'm not. I'm going to be here every day until our manager faces me. You got a big mouth. Why don't you come over here and face me? I have a really right to be here. I'd like to see you like fucking help tie me here all night. I got shit to say. Now you say, fuck up, get up, I'll come over and smash And I'll This store will accuse you of stealing if you use the self-checkout. Do not use the self-checkout. Look up a channel on YouTube called The Eric Grant Show. I'm just like him. And as long as I'm on the public sidewalk, you can't do a goddamn thing. They will accuse you of stealing in this store. And it's still daylight, so kids shouldn't be in bed anyway. I don't know of anybody who puts their kids to bed at five at night. <laughs> I'm at 36 minutes into my re recording. I, well, 40 minutes now. And it is now 1738. At 1600, I'll leave.
but I'm going to stay here another 20 minutes at least. They will accuse you of stealing if you use the self-checkout. They will accuse you of stealing if you use the self-checkout. Don't use the self-checkout. They will accuse you of stealing in this store. And out of respect for this guy's kids, I'll leave at 6 o'clock. But I'm going to stay here to 6 o'clock. Because I have every right to stay here to 6 o'clock. Because this store, what they did was uncalled for and unconstitutional. They had no right to ban somebody from the store. Absolutely no right to do what they did. And then say that I don't have the cojones to come down here. And that's a word that kids should, don't know, so it's not a swear word. If I said the B word, then that could be a swear word. But anyways, he laughed at me and hung up on me and didn't think I had the, the guts to come down here. So don't use the self-checkout, they'll accuse you of stealing. They will accuse you of stealing at Hannaford if you use the self-checkout. And they didn't just ban them from this store, they banned them from every Hannaford in the country. Every Hannaford in the country they banned him from and accused him of stealing at the self-checkout. Nobody accuses my family members of stealing. Ever. So I have every right to protest. I, I have every right to let the manager know that I'm not happy. 15 minutes remaining and then I'll leave. But Zim tells me that manager don't have the guts to come out and face me. He's going to hide in his store like a little coward that he is. I will be finding out where Hannaford's corporate office is and I will be picking the there next. And I don't care if their corporate headquarters is across the country. I will go to Hannaford's headquarters and pick it next. Nobody calls my family a stealing, ever. Oh, he left. I thought he left. Yeah, because he's a coward. He's a coward. He left. Because I'm not a pro afraid to protest when an injustice has happened. You got people over here that are blue slags who will lick the officer's boots and say, Oh, yes, officer. Yes, master. Yes, master. No, I say, F the police. I say, the police can go eat themselves. And I'm being clean, trying to be clean. I'm not afraid of this. I'm not afraid of the cops. Afraid of that useless... P.O.S. Brad Gallant either, because that's what Brad Gallant is. He's a P.O.S. But nobody accuses my family of stealing, ever.
It was uncalled for, it was inappropriate. And I don't care who's recording me, who's putting it on YouTube, I will give you my channel if you want my channel, because I'm on my channel too. Just look up three words, Justin, Emo, Howling Wolf. Howling Wolf like the blues musician, but all one word. And that's my account, because back in the day I used to be an emo punk. I used to have bohawks and all that stuff. I don't have the emo looks anymore, but I used to be very emo back in the day. Back when it was popular. You don't see too many emo kids anymore. Don't use the self-checkout. I hope you paid for that beer. <laughs> because if you use the self-checkout, they're going to say you stole it. You know, a huge corporation is not going to accuse you of shoplifting if you weren't doing it. Good yeah, well, I dared them to sue me over it. Cameras. And it wasn't me. It was, my, it was another family member that they did it to. Because they, they put a trespass order, and he's not allowed to come with 1,000 feet of the store. So I got to do it for him, because they put papers on him. Yeah, and you must love the cops, too. You must be a blue bag bootlicker, too. That's right, Rumpert has got their first First Amendment auditor. If you don't know what that look that is, look up Eric Plant show on YouTube. Look how he tells the police off. He flips the police off. He fights injustice. That's what I'm gonna start doing. I also go out to police calls and, and fill in the police and say blank the police. I'm one of those guys. Rumpert has one of their first first in the MN auditors sitting right here. Because I'm tired of being stepped on. I'm tired of being told, oh, just obey, just obey. And get on your knees and lick my feet. That's what the police department believes in today. There was a guy on YouTube today that got, that got pulled over for his tent, right? He got pulled over for a legal tent. But yet the cop car had so much tint on it, you couldn't even see in the cop car. That's all right for the cop car, but that's not all right for the public citizen. That's how the cops are. The police go around without their seatbelts. They don't use their turn signals. We do that, we get pulled over. So that's what I think about the police. Now back to Hannaford. They will accuse you of stealing if you use the self-checkout. They accuse the family member of stealing. Nobody accuses my family of stealing and gets away with it. And of course the manager dared me to come down here and again, like a little coward he snuck out the back door. Because he couldn't face me. All right, let me check the time, because I told these guys next door I would stop. All right. Ten minutes to six, guys. Ten minutes to six. I got 17.48. I'll stay here to 1,800. Because the last thing I want to do is interrupt somebody's family from sleeping, especially if it's an infant. So I will respectfully leave at six o'clock, which is 1800 military time. 
But yet this store will accuse you of stealing, they will accuse you of shoplifting. If you use the self-checkout, do not use the self-checkout because they will accuse you of stealing. They, did it, they didn't do it to me, they did it to a family member. A family member of mine is not allowed to come within 1,000 feet of any Hannaford store in New England. So that's why I'm here and he's not protesting because he, cause if he even stood here with me, he could get arrested because he's too close to the property. Time you use a self-checkout, do you know what happened in this country? We let computers take over. Back in the day when the news crews used to do their evening news, they used to have seven or eight cameramen in the studio. Now it's all done by computer. So figure out, figure out all the studios in the country and all the cameramen that they fired because of computers. Look at all the jobs people have lost because of computers. Hannaford decided to put two self-checkouts in there because they didn't want to pay people. An hourly wage. That's what it does. It eliminates one more job. It makes another person homeless when they can't get a job. So you guys should be despising a computer. I saw on YouTube that they have the technology now where a country can come over to the United States, bomb the country with an EMP and wipe out all electronics but not kill one single civilian. I wonder how you guys would handle it if we ever went back to the rifleman days, the Wild Wild West. You guys wouldn't know, all these young punks today wouldn't know how to handle themselves without a computer. So yeah, those two self-checkouts in there, not only are they improperly working, they don't work half the time, they accuse people of stealing when you use them, and it eliminated two jobs in the River Valley area where there could be people working there, working at those self-checkouts. I like to see what, every, what all these young punks today, all these young 20-year-olds would do if all of a sudden their cell phones were no longer around, if the cell phones all stopped working, if the computers all stopped working. They wouldn't know how to live. So do not use Hannaford. Sell checkout, they will accuse you of stealing. I'm not saying you don't use the store. I'm saying you have every right to shop in the store. But do not use the sell checkout because they will accuse you of stealing. They will accuse you of stealing if you use the self-checkout. Because their security system is not monitoring the store right. He got accused of stealing when we never stole. But that's fine. You know what I call this storm anyway? Because it's so expensive on their stuff. This store is so expensive, I call it Canafords. That's what this store is called, Canafords. They got so much stuff that you can't afford. The most stupidest thing they did is they got rid of the deli. You used to be able to go in there and buy meatballs. You can't buy meatballs anymore. You used to be able to buy their salads by the pound. Now everything's pre-packaged. Pre-sliced, same thing with them deli meats and stuff. They're pre-sliced in the bag, so when you open the bag, the, the sticker rips the bag. So you got to put it in another bag. Oh, screw you! So don't use the self-checkout at Hannaford. I can get Lana. Oh yeah, I can get Lana. She wants to rub the motor. She wants to be a C. Yeah, I'm not telling you what the C stands for. She wants to get me rubbed up. Now maybe I won't leave at six o'clock. You wanna be?
be a twerp? You want to be a... Rev your engine at me. The truck's probably not even inspected anyway. So do not use the self checkout at Hannaford. They'll accuse you of stealing. Alright, she stopped a reverend of the engine, so I'll go back to my original agreement. I'll leave at six. Which is in five minutes. Yeah, they accused my husband of stealing, but they accused him of stealing at the self-checkout, which was uncalled for. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm leaving at six anyway. I got better things to do anyway. But you don't accuse somebody of stealing unless you got proof, and that's why they didn't charge them with theft because they had no proof. They assumed. You know what assume means? It means that you make an A out of you and me, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. And I'm keeping it clean because there's kids in this apartment building. But that's what assume means. They assumed that he wasn't checking everything out. They assumed that he was stealing. So that's what assume means. You make an A out of yourself and the other person. All right, it's 5.56, it's 6 o'clock, I'm leaving. Four more minutes. Do not use the self-checkout, they'll accuse you of stealing. Do not use the self-checkout! They will accuse you of stealing! Yep, we got a blue spag, a young punk, and a fucking motorcycle over here! Now I'm gonna stay here all night, you cock! Now I'm gonna stay here all night! Cause now we got an asshole! Now I'm gonna stay here all night! Do not use the self-checkout! Do not use the self checkout, they will accuse you of stealing! Oh, here comes the police! After police! That's right, police are blue spags! Here we go, the blue spag of Rumpford! Here we go, they're showing up now! The Rumpford blue spags! I have every right to stand on this sidewalk! I have every right to stand! Whether they like it or not. Yeah, we got cop callers in the apartment building, folks. We got bootleggers. I'm on the public sidewalk. I have every right to protest. Yeah, I'm swallowing my feet. I have every right to be here, whether you like it or not. I'm not swearing. I'm not cursing. Are you being disorderly? No, I'm not. I'm protesting peacefully. No, stop peacefully. I have every right to. You're not being peaceful. You're being disorderly. You're, you're disrupting the neighborhood. 
I have every okay, right to. On the public sidewalk, I have every right to. Absolutely. If you want to stand here with your sign and keep your mouth quiet and not disturb the peace, that's fine. But you're not going to sit here with a loudspeaker. I have every right to protest with a loudspeaker. You're being and if you arrest me, I will sue the fucking town. That, that's fine. Okay. But you're being disturbed. And you. Okay. Your fine. name will be plaintiff on the friggin' form. Okay. Because I don't care about the police. I'm one of those guys that go around and say, fuck the police. Usually it's the plaintiff that sues. So I would be the defendant. Yeah, you would be the defendant. Okay. But anyway, listen. I, I don't I don't care if you stand here, but you're not going to stand here and, and blast into that because it's disorderly conduct. You're disturbing No, it's not. I have it every is. right. Okay. Whether you like it or not, I have you, every you right. You the statue? Because I don't mind reading it to you. I, and, and educating you. Disorderly contact is when you're out making threats against people. No, it has nothing to do with threats. It has to do with disturbing the peace. And Hannaford is actually not even the complainant. I got a call from a neighbor, somebody that lives here and might be trying to sleep so they can work night shift tonight. You understand that? They had no right to do what they did today. Okay. If you want to stand here and, and picket and protest peacefully, that's fine. But if you continue to make loud and unreasonable noises, I'm going to arrest you. And isn't there a quiet time from like 8 no, in the morning not. to not? Well, it's then you're an asshole. <laughs> disorderly conduct uh, any time during the day. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, please? No, I didn't bring it with me because I'm not driving. I walked all the way up here okay. from well, Kimball I'm Avenue. investigating a criminal complaint of disorderly conduct. I need your name and your date of birth and your address. If you fail to give it to me, I'm going to arrest you. What's your first name, please? All right, let me mute this. 